Hi ABT kids. Today we are going to be talking about stretching with Carlos. Let's start with a calf stretch that can be helpful for dancers. He is first showing us some alignment issues. You want to try to square off your pelvis and have good lower leg alignment. Knee over the second toe. This should be done in parallel, not turned out. In a turned out position, you tend to just let your foot flatten rather than getting a good calf stretch. Turn your foot in even if you feel a little pigeon toed. That's okay for this stretch. And you are going to hold the stretch for 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure you're breathing. If you feel like your calves are tight and they don't respond to this stretch, it may be because your calves are weak. And so you should do some of the strengthening exercises that we are doing in our strengthening program this week. Next, Carlos is going to demonstrate a hamstring stretch using a strap or you can use a belt or towel. Put the strap around your foot. Notice how square his hips and pelvis are. Nice job, Carlos. You can make the stretch more active by flexing and pointing your foot and straightening your knee by tightening the front of your thigh. This will increase your feeling of stretch. You can take your leg further up towards your head and let your pelvis go, but I always recommend that you start with this stretch first. It really targets the back of your hamstring and the back of your thigh. Then you can take your leg slightly across your body to feel a stretch in the outside of your thigh and hip. Make sure you keep your pelvis square and down on the floor. Make sure you are doing deep belly breaths that will help you to relax into the stretch. Notice that we do not recommend extreme stretching. It can cause joint and ligament injury and you should always have good alignment when you are stretching. You should never feel any sharp pain while stretching and if you can't take a nice deep breath in and out while you're doing the stretch, you are pushing too much. Now Carlos is going to demonstrate a stretch to help open up your hips to help with turnout if you are tight in your hips. Again, look at the alignment of your legs. This is what we call a dynamic stretch, so you are going to move through the stretch rather than holding it for a long time. And you want to make sure you are breathing throughout the exercise. If you feel a little bit tighter in one area than the, another, feel free to stay in that position for a little bit longer and breathe. You're going to move back and forth from the lunge stretch, feeling the front of your hip and thigh lengthen as you go forward. Then sit back toward your heel and tighten the front of your thigh for a hamstring stretch. Flexing the foot will increase the stretch in the back of your knee. Keep breathing to help you relax your muscles. Next, you're going to put your right hand on the floor and rotate your trunk towards the front leg to increase the stretch in the front outside of your hip and pelvis. If you can't lift that left arm all the way up to the ceiling, then just hold on to the knee of the front leg and take a few deep breaths. Now you're going to repeat to the other side 